In this video, I am gonna tell you the best way to pre-farm Jinche and build her properly. So sit down and watch the video into the end to know. But before that, if you are new, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, put a like, share it to your friend, and comment down below if you are excited for Jinche. Let's begin. Okay, so first thing first. In the official, they announced that Jinche is a spectral character, as you can see. And that means she is gonna need a spectral boss to farm her. And the only spectral boss that we know of is Morning X, as you can see. So here we are. This is the boss that you guys need to kill in order to get his material. And in fact, you are gonna need 46 of these material to be able to max her out and you are gonna need 170,000 shell credit as well so be sure to have them so we all know that Jinche is a broad blade unit and you know what that's supposed to mean that mean her skill upgrade is needed from this domain the eroded ruin and as you can see, it is stated there that it's for broad blade resonator and upgrade their skill. So, Jin's gonna need around 67 of this, 55 of this, 28 of Waveworn, the blue one, as you can see, and 25 of this to max out everything. Also, one thing is you are gonna need 20 million shout credit to max out everything of her skill upgrade alone. And she is gonna need the Jewel material that I'm gonna assume is a weekly boss because it is stated in the Twitter of whether and where official that there's a Jewel boss and therefore I'm pretty sure that this one gonna drop the material that she's gonna need and she's gonna need around 26 of that material so don't forget about that we are gonna talk about her echo now the good news is her echo is spectral so not an effect as you can see in the echo data bank and so that means you can farm this boss to get as many crit 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 damage uh, echo and uh, try to perfect it. But also there's a good news is that in the event you can farm the card cleansing which give double drop of the tacit field. And you are gonna need the spectro celestial light. If you go there it will show you in this map and all you need to do is farm and try to claim them. And you should take advantage of it, by the way. So now, how to build her in terms of Echo? I know that some people are gonna say, Oh, I don't have a Spectral Damage Bonus to do a 4-3-3-1-1, which I can understand, but hear me out. We all know that you guys did the Battle Pass and some event. And if you go check the reward, where was it? At level 54, 52, you get some of these. And you can choose what you want. And if I go there, and I go, you can see that the Echo will guarantee you uh, some uh, element. Like Rock Steady Guardian will guarantee you a Spectral Damage Bonus. And I think you should take advantage of that and use it for a Spectral Damage Bonnet for your own Jinsei Echo build. So that's uh, pretty much it, but the main Echo's crit damage crit rate for the cost 3 Spectral Damage Bonnet, I would suggest you for both two of them. And for the last cost 1, I would suggest you to go attack percent. Her substat, I think, should be crit rate, crit damage, with uh, either resonance skill damage bonus or attack percentage. Overall, her best weapon in slot gonna be her signature weapon. The second best would be the battle pass weapon, the broad blade over here, the autumn trace. Is her second best inch slot. The third best inch slot gonna be her the standard banner weapon, Lustrous Razor. 
And the last one gonna be Helios Clever for free to play. That's all I think there is to it. If you did enjoy this type of content, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, share it to your friend, put a like, and comment down below what do you think of my video. Also, do follow me on twitch.tv slash dalex. I will be doing a stream of Jinship's polling session. We will see you next time. Bye bye.